Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will show you a game between Peter Sridla and George Mayer. This is a game from Grand Chess Tournament played in 2019. Peter Sridla had white pieces and he started with e4. George Mayer played e6, d4, d5, the French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, e5, attacking the knight, the classical French, knight from f to d7, f4, attacking white center, knight to f3, knight to c6, more pressure on the pawn on d4, bishop to e3, all the standard moves, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, queen to b6, going after the pawn on b2, queen to d2, queen grabs the pawn on b2, taking the poison pawn, rook to b1, queen to a3, Bishop to b5, knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, bishop to b4, pinning the knight. All this have been seen many times before. The standard move, rook to b3, queen to a5, asking a question, bishop to e7, white to move, f5, attacking the defender of the pawn on d5, pawn takes pawn on f5, knight takes on d5, going for the end game. Queen takes on d2, king takes on d2, the threat is knight to c7 check, bishop to d8. Ok, let's pause for a moment. Who is better? Black is better materially. One pawn. But white has a better activity of the pieces. More space, more room to move. So, it is fair to say that white is better. Do you agree? The game continued. Rook to c3, bishop to a5, but now knight to c7, check. Bishop takes knight, rook takes on c7. White has three active pieces and black only one. King to d8, or oh, two. Rook to c3, knight to f8, bishop to c5, bishop to d7, bishop takes on f8. Bishop takes on b5. Let's take it back. How about rook takes bishop on f8? How would you continue then? Then white wins. Can you see how? Rook to d3, pinning and winning. Back to our game. So George Mayer had to play bishop takes bishop on b5. Bishop takes on g7 and the material is equal now. Rook to g8, bishop to f6, check. King to d7, white to move, perhaps g3 was expected. Rook to d1 was played. And now perhaps rook takes on g2 is not a bad move, but George Mayer didn't want to take another free pawn. He played f4. Rook to g2 would not be a blunder. White has a choice, king to c1 or king to e3. In both cases it is check, but I have a feeling that Svidla would play king to e3, not king to c1. Never mind, let's see what happens if king goes to c1. Black king is not well placed, but it is not clear how is white winning from this position. Maybe rook to h3, then rook to c8, rook takes on h7, rook from c takes on c2. This would lead to a draw. Back to our game. F4. I think rook takes pawn on g2 must have been a better move. The game continued. G3. F takes on g3. King to c1, a check. Not from the king, from the rook. King to e8. H takes on g3. Black to move. Black is playing without the rook. Bishop to c6. Let's take it back. What happens if rook goes to b8? How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Then rook to c7. And white is winning. If then bishop to c6, then e6. And after f takes on e6, check. King to f8, rook to f1. And black king is a toast. Back to our game. To avoid this disaster, John Mayer played bishop to c6. Rook to d4. Rook to g6, rook from c to d3, black to move, and black must be careful, king to f8 was played. 
If again black tries to develop the rook, let's say rook to c8, then white wins just like this. Rook to d8 check, rook takes rook, rook takes rook check mate. Back to our game. King to f8 was played. Rook to h4. Let's take it back. Rook to d8 check doesn't work. Because then rook takes rook, and after rook takes rook, check bishop to e8, and black is okay. Back to our game. Rook to h4 was played. h6. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? Swindler played g4. This is the best move, intending g5. Bishop to b5. Rook to d2. Rook to e8. Finally, the other rook joins the battle. At the move 34. Is it too late? Let's see. It is white to move. What would you do? Swidla played the best move. g5. This is winning. Black to move. Rook takes pawn on g5. Let's play a random move. If a5, then g takes on h6, and the pass pawn is too dangerous. Rook takes on g5. How would you continue? Bishop takes rook, or rook takes pawn on h6. Peter Swidler played rook takes on h6. The other move is winning too, but it would take perhaps a bit longer. Let's see. Bishop takes on g5, h takes on g5, rook to h8 check, king to g7, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, and then rook to d6. But Swidler's move was even better. Peter Swidler played rook takes pawn on h6, rook to g8 defending the back rank. But this was not good enough to survive. White played a move and black designed and the move is... What would you do? The move is... Rook from d to h8. Black designed. The threat is rook to h8. Black could help prolong the game like this. Rook to e6, rook to h8, rook takes on f6, rook takes rook check, king takes on g8, pawn takes rook, and black bishop would have no chance against the white rook. That was a very nicely played game by Peter Svidla. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.